Tally ho, my name is King Pishoshan and welcome to something a little bit different. Now I recently got nominated by Taser to do a 20 facts about me video. And there is one thing that I want to say, but considering it actually links into it being a fact about me, I'm going to get this started straight away with fact number one. I like to be as real as possible, and by this I mean I like to be as much of me as I can be. And I like to show people that I am me, and I'm not just going to pretend to be someone else, or pretend to do something else, or be something else to please anybody. It's one of the reasons why I like to try and show you guys that this is me, this is what I love. I love making videos, I love playing video games, I can be quite a comedic person you could say, but at the same time I can be serious at times. Which links into fact number two, which is that I have really bad social anxiety. Now what's this I hear you saying, oh Ocean, you're making YouTube videos, how could you have social anxiety? As strange as this may sound, I feel comfortable talking to a camera, because I know that you guys are watching this video, sure, but you're not there, you're not like sat in front of me listening to me say this, you're watching this via a video, so I feel comfortable doing it, and at first, yeah, I felt absolutely terrified of making videos, but after a while I got used to it. Fact number three, and this one is something that's quite personal to me, which is, some of you may have noticed this and realised this, some of you may have not, but I actually have a really bad dry skin issue, I've had it ever since I was born, literally, I was born with dry skin, and I don't know exactly what caused this, it's a medical condition that I've had since I was born, and it can be really bad sometimes. The camera's not exactly that great, but you can kind of make out bits of it, like there it's really bad, and I get it on my face as well, usually at the sides and up here and around my eyes as well, and sometimes on the sides of my forehead. It's a problem that I've had pretty much all my life, and the problem with this, and why I wanted to mention it to be honest, is because... I don't want you guys thinking I'm dirty or something like that, that I, you know, never have a wash or anything like that. It's just something that kind of bothers my self-esteem a little bit. If people are going to be mean about it, then whatever, screw those guys. But for me personally, when I see videos where I look like that, my camera's at focus, it does usually make me feel bad about myself because I just, I don't like the fact that I have dry skin. And for many years now, I've tried to find any creams, ointments, anything like that that can get rid of it and nothing to be able to get rid of it. So I'm kind of just stuck with it. That's enough of the more personal and serious facts. Fact number four, I have been a huge video game nerd since I was a little kid. One of the first video games I actually remember playing was Pokemon Blue, and I still remember that day when my mum had been working or she'd been out in town. I think she was working then she went into town afterwards into the town centre and she went around some shops and she got herself, I think it was Metroid 2 Return of Sam's, I think it's called for the Game Boy, and she got me Pokemon Blue. Now just to point out, I am 21 years old, so this was the original Pokemon Blue, it's not like a remade version or anything, it was the original game that had just, I think it had just come out at that point. And ever since then, I had been a huge Pokemon nerd. In the past maybe 5 or 6 years, I've kind of gone off Pokemon, I grew out of it a little bit, but I still love the games and I still think they're awesome. I've actually been wanting to play some Pokemon games for the channel, but the problem is I don't actually have recording software for a 3DS, DS or Game Boy. I do have a Nintendo GameCube that can fit Game Boy Advance cartridges in and this is something I'm going to be testing out in the next few days. I'm not too sure if I can record from the GameCube because I only have HDMI cables to plug in and it's not got a HDMI cable. So that could be an issue but if I can figure out how to make that work I may be able to record it. So if you guys are interested in that idea of me playing GameCube games on Game Boy Advance games like some of the old classic titles let me know in the comment section. Which also kind of relates to fact number five. I am a huge Legend of Zelda Nerd. In my living room, I actually have a bookcase full of lots of collectibles, and part of the collectibles on this shelf are Legend of Zelda. I have my own little Legend of Zelda shrine, I like to call it, in one of the corners. I've not been able to afford or find too many good things, but I did manage to get this Figma, which I absolutely adore. Another thing I kind of want to ask, even though it's not the place to really ask this kind of thing, is if you guys would like to see me doing a Legend of Zelda videos on the channel. I have been trying to play Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword for a very long goddamn time now, but I never owned a Nintendo Wii when I was younger, so I never got to play it. And now that I have a Nintendo Wii U, Skyward Sword looks absolutely awful because it's been upscaled on the Wii U. So I'm trying to see if I can get a hold of a Wii uh, at some point, and if I can play through Skyward Sword, do you guys want to see it? If not, then I'll just play it in my spare time or maybe stream it. Now, I feel like I've weaved together these facts quite intricately because fact number six six is that I'm actually a big nerd when it comes to collectibles. I've always loved to show off the things that I love to watch and play, so I tend to collect a lot of figurines and little collectible kind of items. This also applies to video games as well. I love to try and collect any collectible editions of games that I can if I really like a game. Fact number seven. I'm a rather musical person, and in my spare time I love to play a keyboard. And I also 
also love to play guitar. Fact number 8. My favourite game of all time is The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. The reason for this being that when I was a very young child, my mother used to actually play this game quite a lot. Anytime I hear any of the music from that game, especially the main menu music, it always makes me feel really nostalgic and just feel really happy and feel like a child again. Fact number 9! Even though I tend to record a lot of PC footage and PC games on my channel, I'm actually a console gamer myself. I personally believe a hell of a lot in equality in everything. I believe in equality with race, equality with sexes, and I can't tolerate and do not respect people being sexist or racist. I also like to think that I'm a respectful person, and I try to treat people how I would like to be treated myself, unless I really hate that person. <laughs> Fact number 11! That was a- that, that was 10, and my foot was a 1, so it's 11, so if, if I, I hope you've got that- okay. I am a very strange eater. Now this may come as a shock for some of you, so you may want to sit down, I'll give you a moment to do that. <sighs> but, I don't like bacon. I don't like many pork products apart from sausages, I don't like pizza, I don't like custard. You damn well better believe that I don't like vegetables. At all. Apart from cucumber. I don't like peanut butter, I don't like chocolate spread, I don't like peanuts or just nuts at all. Insert some sort of witty joke about me liking nuts in the comments. If you're not gonna do it, I sure as hell will! Fuck number 12! I should really stop doing this, oh god. Throughout my life, I've been bullied and picked on quite a lot by a lot of people for being different. Fact 13! I am an effeminate person. I just feel like I've always got along better with girls than I do with guys. I love romance. I don't mind watching girly movies. To be really honest, I'm actually not really the biggest fan of your typical action movies because I just feel like it's just a bunch of dudes running around going... <laughs> shooting everything and things explode with a bad storyline in place. I don't know, I just feel like a lot of those movies just really bore me. At times, some could say that I act rather camp. I'm not afraid to sing on video. The hills are alive with the sound of ocean. Fact 14. You can already tell this by how long this video has already gone on, but I actually talk way too much. It's something that runs on my father's side of the family, family on that side all tend to talk quite a lot, and literally if you get any of us on the phone, we will talk your ear off. It's also why I've taken to doing video game commentary quite well, because I never shut the fuck up. I never stop talking, I'm always talking about something, or I'm always pointing something out on a game. Fact number 50. I am what I like to call a self-improver, which means that anytime I find a flaw in my personality, or just a flaw in anything that I do, I feel the need to fix it and to be better at that thing. This applies to my channel, I'm always trying out new thumbnail styles, I'm always trying to try new forms of editing and making new jokes that I wouldn't usually make, just to see what I can do with it and see how I can improve my channel. It's also another reason why I'm always asking you guys for your opinion on things, I'm always listening to what you guys are saying, and I'm always taking everything in that you said to try and make my channel the best it can be. Fact number 16. I don't like fashionable things or fashionable trends. I don't like the popular music that people tend to listen to. A lot of the time it just sounds awful for me. I don't like fashionable trends in clothing. I don't like fashionable haircuts. I don't know why. I think it's just because of the fact that all my life I've felt like more of a kind of like a social outcast. Like, I've never really fitted in with normal culture. My favourite food is Mexican. Oh, just thinking about eating some tacos, followed by some enchiladas, and just... Fact number 18! Nah! Every video. Every video. Which should be nice. Not here, police sirens. Goddamn background. That's what you get for living on a busy road. I get distracted by things very easily, and I'm also really bad at scheduling things. It's why a lot of the time on my channel I say that I'm going to get something done and having up, have it up for a certain day, and a lot of the time that doesn't happen. 19! My favourite season has to be summer. Quite a lot of the time it's always really, really nice outside, really sunny, really nice and warm. It always just lifts my spirits and makes me feel really happy. I think I'm going to end with one that is very personal to me, which is that my two biggest goals in my life is 
to find my soulmate because it's just something that I've always wanted to do. I've, I've always wanted to see myself in the future growing old with someone who makes me incredibly happy, who I make incredibly happy as well. My second one is that in the future, I really hope that my channel can become something that people can relate to, that people can be inspired by. A channel that can help people to get out of any bad situation that they're in, such as depression or abuse, bullying, self-harm. Helping people and just making people feel happier and better about their lives while also entertaining people at the same time makes me feel incredibly proud of myself and makes me feel incredibly happy at the same time. It's one of the reasons why, yes, I do have a Tally Hall tank top on, which I made that myself. And I also have a Kingfish Ocean t-shirt while also having the YouTube play button as a necklace and the little fish because for me it's a point of pride in myself. I'm not a vain person, that's not what this is about. No, it's more of a thing for me that I'm just proud of where I've got to at this point in time. I'm proud of where my channel is and I'm proud of how much I've accomplished with it. And part of me feeling happy about my channel and just loving what I do is because of you guys, because of all the nice comments that you guys leave. Some of you message me over on Twitter to even ask me how my day is, which is incredibly kind of you all. And having that kind of community built around my channel just makes me feel incredibly lucky and just incredibly honoured and humbled. So I just want to say thank you all for all the support that all of you have given me, for all the Twitter messages, all the Facebook messages over on the page, for those of you that like to comment in the comments section, and for those of you who just watch my videos and support me. I bow to you all. But anyways, this video has gone on too goddamn long, which, <laughs> which just shows that my earlier fact about me talking a lot is very true. <laughs> This was a lot of fun though, I'm going to try and do a lot more of these kind of videos so that you guys can get to know me a bit better and see that I'm not just a person who makes videos, but I'm a human being who has likes, needs, loves, wants, hates and all these other things. So that hopefully we can have more of a connection and maybe even be friends because I like to make friends with a lot of you guys, I like to be more than just a YouTuber, I, I like to just not make a video, throw it up there, people give me all these nice comments and just ignore them all. I like to try and reply to every one of them, I like to talk to any of you that message me over on Twitter. I like to try and help you guys with your problems, because I like to try and give back to you guys for all the support and all the help and just all the loveliness that you guys have given me. But anyways, I believe that I have to tag some people, it's up to these people if they want to do this video or not, I'm not forcing them to, I'm not pressuring them to. But the two people that I'm going to choose is The Daily Fandom and Brotacular. But anyways guys, thank you for watching, let me know what you think about the facts, you can state some facts about yourself in the comments or over on Twitter if you want to, we can chat about it, it's a nice way to get to know each other. But anyways, guys thank you for watching don't forget to slap that like button and i'll see you guys in the next video pip, pip, Right into it. First up, streaming. Now this is an idea that I toyed around with for a while now, but I never really got around to trying it out. But I wanted.